Another beautiful day of paradise. It's Christmas all over again. First day of pads. Finally got these pads on real football about to happen. Feel great out here. Ain't too hot. A little bit of clouds out here. Lord blessing us on this good day. I was like, I'm excited, man. Ready to rock and roll. We hit the day. Let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. Save that, bring it up. Hey, come on. There's only one way we do things around here. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Go. Hey, how you go? Hey. Hey. Ready to go. Oh. Welcome to the oh. Raiders Training Camp Special, episode number three. I'm Brian Salmon. Of course, with me, my guy, oh, I have man. always the 14-year <laughs> NFL vet, the six-time pro bowler, EA, the Green Eye Bandit. Oh, How you doing, my man? Brian, I do miss those days. I do miss them. I got to be honest with you. I know guys <laughs> sometimes say, oh, I don't miss that. I miss that stuff because I love the opportunity to get down with your players yes. and put in this kind of work because this kind of conditioning at the end of practice says a lot about who you are, who you can be, and that's always the, the weakness of us all yeah. is that conditioning part. Oh, of course. Right? If you can get that stuff down with the day and pads hitting, and trying to make some big time plays, man, <laughs> that's how you build a team. Uh, you're thanking the Lord when you get a chance <laughs> to put those pads on. I right? am. Yeah. I am. Especially now, these players, only just 11 padded practices in the NFL how these many? days. One, two, three, 11. 11? Man, I, I probably <laughs> did that in a week and a half. A week and a half? Yeah. Back in my day. <laughs> I, I hate saying that. <laughs> but truly, but truly, yeah. it is a huge difference nowadays opposed to when you played and you're at training camp for two and a half, three weeks, yeah. going two a days, and your last practice was a conditioning practice. So it was basically three a days, and uh, you got to get it on and have those big hits. But I'm glad that the guys were able to get in a great week of practice today with pads, finishing off the first week. Everyone's healthy. That's the most important thing. Everyone is healthy. Another guy who's very healthy right now, sitting up on his couch, unfortunately for Raider Nation, Denzel Good. He put in his retirement. He actually released a statement via Twitter. Let's go ahead and take a look at that tweet that he put out there. He said, thank you for all of you, thank you, thank, uh, thank you for all your guys' support. It means a lot to me to see the love from all y'all. This was one of the most difficult decisions in my life to make, and I make it wholeheartedly. I need this time to focus on things football, unfortunately, won't allow me to. Mm -hmm. He went on to say, I still love the game and feel like I have plenty left in me, but I just have to shift my time and focus on my family for the time being. Thank you to Raider organization, my brothers, and the coaching staff for the support and understanding. And that came to a shock of, to a lot of people yeah. that Denzel Good left. But the fact that when he was here, he was a pretty good lineman. And everyone loved him in the building. Yeah. And he won. He was a seventh round draft choice. Okay. Played seven years in the league. Had over 40 something starts. I mean, he's a quality player. Was expect to add some really competition and depth to that guard position yes. this year. But you know what? He did it the right way. Because you go out a Raider, once a Raider, Ooh. always a Raider. So welcome to the Raider family. I'm pretty sure we'll see him around uh, like we always do uh, ex-Raiders. They're yeah. always in the building, always around to add some support uh, to anything they can do, hopefully to the show once or twice. <laughs> okay, you know, if we, need some, huh? if we need some old line help or tutelage up I like here, that. I like we'd that. love to have you here too. I like that. Get himself a break outside of Allegiant Stadium. Yes, sir. But how about this guard duty now with Denzel yep. Good gone? These are the guys who are going to have the big ends up front fighting for that guard, the guard position. Lester Cotton Jr., John Simpson, Alex Bars, Jermaine. We have Jordan as well. Yep. So how about that? What do you think about that? All those guys over 300 pounds. And <laughs> yeah. if history shows, again, you know what? They like big guards. All right. How about Dylan Parham? 
Dylan. Yeah. yeah. I, I heard that you may have talked to this guy, uh, huh? You know, on the low key, me and Dylan are, are homies. <laughs> oh, that's you know, your guy? We're backing away, you know. <laughs> Dylan, great job. Uh, talking with him, but again, he's expected to be in that rotation, right? Yes. He's a versatile player. We all know that these Raiders uh, love versatility. He's had snaps at center, had snaps at guard, but now okay. that guard position is wide open, so Dylan could be one of those guys that factor in to being a guard ah, here at the Las Vegas Raiders. That's a teaser, folks. It's a big <laughs> opportunity for that guy, though, right? It is. Right now, man, no other opportunities other than guard right now. It's wide open. I know he's going to take some snaps at center, okay. but guard is wide open right now. Uh, wide open. I want to see this interview. You at home want to see this interview. We're going to go ahead and head to a break. But when we come back, EA, the green-eyed bandit, will talk with Dylan Parham to find out just how big this opportunity is. You're watching the Cranny Camp Special. Raiders Training Camp Special is brought to you by Sirius XM. Subscribe to Sirius XM's Platinum Plan and get every NFL game, plus 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert analysis. For more information, go to SiriusXM.com and buy Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. So University of Memphis, we all know you're a versatile player, right? That's the one thing that kind of popped out on film. Appreciate I checked out that. some tape on you. Okay, you okay. had a great combination punch. You look like a little cornerback there yeah. a little bit. Where did the technical, <laughs> where did the technical part of your game come from? Uh, I would say I would like to dedicate a lot of that to Coach Bridge and uh, okay. Coach Hillfield. They're my past offensive line coaches. So obviously, Give him some uh, love. Give him some love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> obviously, uh, I'm not really used to this position. I'm really still growing at this time. So I played offensive line maybe for five, six years. And so, uh -huh. uh, of course, there's different techniques that I still need to learn. But just them, they really helped me uh, hone that skill. And so them just teaching me different protections. Just having one who's actually been in the league yeah. and played and did that. And then having a coach who's coached for 30 plus years is just like, they was able to bring two different right. things. So they really helped me out a lot. So, I really do dedicate everything that I got to my coaches. Oh, that's awesome, yes, man. Sir. I always want to give shout out to those coaches, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we, I saw you ragdoll some guys, too. I mean, you're, you're powerful, physical. Well, appreciate you know. that. Yeah, yes, sir. you're doing your yes, thing sir. out there. But again, that transition, right? This is the first week in pads yes, here in the National Football League for you as the Las Vegas Raider. How has that transition been, the physical part that you like to bring, but that first week in pads? Were you able to get physical with some guys out there a little bit? Yes, sir. And I will tell you, it's a lot faster than college. <laughs> I was just like, getting out there my first couple of days, it's just like, of course, we've been helmets. And, you know, we're, the speed uh, in helmets is a lot faster as well. But once you first get them pads on, it's like you actually feeling them bringing that power. And so it's just like, it was different. It definitely took an adjustment. But then coming out day two, I was just like, I understand. Uh, we actually work double teams and getting combination together and just having that uh, consistency with the offensive line, just getting in with new guys you never really worked with. Right, and so right. just making sure y'all on the same thing, uh, that really helped me out today. Again, really people think football is just you come and you practice. Talk to us a little bit about that full day, right? You're a professional football player. Yes, sir. You wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, you got to get here. Talk to us a little bit about your routine. Yes, sir. So right now the routine is a a little bit more strict, obviously, when it count. <laughs> and so I like to get up around 5.30, 5.45. Okay. Uh, get up. Uh, we have squad meetings at 7 o'clock, so before then, I would either go get hot tubs by like 6, 6.15. Uh, of course, we have our weigh-ins uh, in the mornings now, so we'll do our weigh-ins prior so to that. you're weighing in every day? Yes, sir. All we're right, okay. Yep. And so uh, prior to that, then I'll go in, I'll get my moon boots, flush my legs out because we probably had a tough day the day before. Right. Um, and then afterwards, of course, we have practice. It depends on what type of practice, two, two and a half hours after that. If we don't have a lift, I like to go get in the cold tubs immediately. I was like, oh, shake the legs tub. back. I'm, you yes, know sir. what? Listen, you said the cold tub. The cold tub is the key to longevity in the Wanda's, National Football man. League. Yes, you got to get in the yes, cold sir. tub, right? Yes, sir. And so uh, after that, uh, I'll probably get in my playbook a little bit, just to make sure. If I know that I've had a mental error on the field, I uh -huh. like to go watch that immediately just to make sure that I can have that corrected before we get into the meeting so I have an understanding of what it is I need to do better. And then from that, just trying to take care of my body in between meetings. Uh, if I have a loved one that I need to call that I haven't checked in with, I make sure to uh, give them a call there once in a while. And then right. that, just make sure I try to take care of my bodies and uh, my mental because it's going to be a long day. You're going to be hearing yeah. different terms all day. And so just make sure you take that time to actually just relax and decompress uh, is the thing I like to do. Raider Nation, you heard that. Now, the thing that popped off with me is about making sure you get that film prep in. Because yes, that's sir. what it's really about. Oh, yeah. The physical part's going to take care of itself. Go in a little bit more detail about how you overcome some adversity. Because you know what? You're going against some of the best pass rushers in the National Football League yes, with our guys on our football team. Yes, You're going to get beat once or twice. How do, you, how do you correct those mistakes? Yes, sir. So for me, uh, first of all, I don't try to 
be hard on myself when it is when I do make a mistake. I was like, it's a big process and every person is gonna be good like you said and you're gonna get beat at some time. So it's just making sure that what it is that you did that time, of course like you're gonna meet a dude that's just like <laughs> yeah. that guy. And so you're it's just like you may guy, do everything right. Especially out here with Matt. Yes sir, right? yes sir. So it's just like some days he just make it the best. He just making sure that you take that time, you go back and you look at your technique. It's like okay, maybe that punch could have been just a little bit quicker to go. keep him off of your uh -huh. okay, you're looking at your set and maybe you got a little too open during that time. It's just like maybe you need to stay score just half a second more. And right. that'd be the difference in that rep. And so it's just like just looking at that little details and those things. Man, that's that's awesome stuff. And I tell you, so from Memphis, you grew up in Georgia. Yes, sir. You know, what are those stories that you've had there that you're bringing with you to Raider Nation? You know, maybe a coach, some words of wisdom, maybe your grandmother, grandfather. What are some of those things that you're bringing from uh, your childhood? Yes, sir. I would say from just childhood, um, somebody's always watching you. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what I've heard my dad and my grandfather. All the people say it's just like, it's not really what you're doing when those people are watching, but what, what are you doing when they're not watching? And so it's just like, those are the little things that help separate you as you become to those next levels. So like, a lot of kids, high school, their dreams are playing college football, and it's just like, not everybody's gonna be able to do this. So what are you going to do? Because a lot of high school kids every year that have that dream, it's just like, what are you gonna do to separate yourself? And then for the next level, it's like, okay, Everybody's gonna work out. Everybody's gonna do summer conditioning. Everybody's gonna watch some type of film, but it's like, what are those little things that you're gonna do to right. help separate you to get to that next level? And so me just hearing that message from them and then really honing in on that was a big thing that helped me be successful. EA, uh, that's Emmy worthy. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful job. What's the biggest you, takeaway from uh, talking with Dylan? Well, just how advanced this young man is as far as looking at his career. You know, when, uh, when you come in, when, in your 80s, you come in, you're seeing football 24-7. These young guys really have it all together at this point. They understand, like, mental health is important, yeah. keeping that net wide, bringing their family in. So when the Raiders drafted this young man, they just didn't draft him. They drafted, you know, his family, his yeah. His yeah. high school coach, his college coach, and uh, it's a really a great opportunity for folks to see how young men are and what a day is like in the life of a National Football League player now. You know, it's just uh -huh. not practice. It's all those other things that uh, come along with it also. So I really had a great, great time talking about it. That's cool. And he understands how to take care of his body. That's right. Get in that cold tub. Hey, man, that's the one thing. Got to get in the cold tub, young athletes. That's right. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get in the cold tub uh, between – anyway. But when we come back, we're going to talk a lot more about the defensive rookie lineman. Getting the breakdown with EA, our very own Yoda. We'll be right back. I'm my dub too, I think. Connor, are you following me around today? Not me. I'm there. Oh, okay. What's up, baby? We are here live and direct. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We good? Mic check. Hey, hey coach, I'm mic'd up, by the way. I know. I'm just, just giving you a heads up. You know the vibes. Yes, sir. Hey, you know I got to get a headstand. I'm mic'd up. Yeah, dude. Check this out. Ah! We gotta come up with a handshake. Sooner or later. Hey, let my man Max get some air time. Blue, blue tent. Yeah. You know the vibe. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh! Oh! Como tú sabes español? Como tú sabes? Um, I only got to learn a little bit. Okay. Un poquito? Uh, I just know. Just know? Uh-huh. A little duolingo? A little duolingo. <laughs> One, two, three, look down the side. That was my right. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, but when you said look down to your left, I was already peripheral. My left, I'm like... <laughs> you were like, what? I wasn't sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah! What you got to say about me? Uh, you got to hey. say something good about me. Blue tent. What about the blue tent? See you over there? We out here live and direct. Live and direct. First full pad of practice as a Raider. Yes, sir. As a Raider. Dream come true. Dream come true. Literally for me. I mean, you seen the baby pictures. I saw the baby pictures for real. Hey, you see him. That's a great yearbook. You see him. We got documentation, Raider fans. <laughs> for y'all think I'm lying out here. <laughs> What's happening in the place? <laughs> 
So Chandler Jones, the first Raider to be a federal informant during training camp. All right, it's time now for our favorite segment. We get EA, our very own Yoda, to kind of break down some film. And how about this? He's going to break down the young bucks who hope to have a big impact on that defensive line. I'm talking about Matthew Butler and Neil Farrell Jr. EA, what you got? These guys <laughs> hoping to have a big impact this season. Yeah, for sure, Brian. You know, Chandler's not hurting nobody out there. You know, <laughs> again, you know, oh, 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 doing it. I'm going to give you the real tough guys right now. And we're talking about run defense. Those two tackles up front need to have a really quality first season. Neil and Matthew have to be the kind of guys we can depend on to stop the first and second down runs so we can get to those money downs when everybody talks about, what's your pass rush value? Forget that pass uh -oh. rush value. It's all about these guys in the run defense. First up, we're going to go with Neil. Neil here plays a more traditional LSU guy, more oh, traditional. Yeah. He was a tackle. He's going to shade the center here. And you have to win with power. You have to win with strength when you're playing this position here. So you see he's two gap in here. He has his eyes up. He's processing. He's in getting at all the information and look at the powerful strength to be able to throw that guard away and then pick up on the running back. Wow. Outstanding job from Neil here in this situation. And again, shading the center. So he's more of a traditional nose tackle. But again, you love the fact that he's winning with power. He has great technique right now. Look at that. Sees his hole, takes care of it. I love wow. this part about it. He's two gapping. He's able to flip his hips and then get another tackle for at the line of scrimmage. Neil is doing an amazing job. Up here with the goal line. Hey, you can't have no give in goal line. You have to be powerful. Strength, again, winning with strength. He's pushing a 290-pound center back in the backfield. Ooh. Sheds him with that big, powerful shed. And then the tackle for a loss for a guy, Neil Farrell Jr., making it happen. He is more of a traditional guy. Now we're going to flip the script a little bit. Matthew Butler, he's going to line up what we call a three technique. So he's going to be a little bit out there between the guard and the tackle. He's going to kind of guy who's going to win with strength speed and technique, but here he wins with speed, gets upfield, makes a great tackle on the running back, shedding that tackle as he goes to get to the running back. So he's all about speed. He's all about that great quickness. And again, right over the guard, he's going to, right over the tackle, excuse me, again, winning with speed, he wins the hole. He's the kind of tackle, defensive tackle, who can get through the uh, gaps with a great speed burst. And again, raising that hand. And again, one more time, we show you how he wins with speed speed. Okay. Wins with great arms. Look at that. You never just use your pass rush once. once. Oh, look, the flip of the hips. Uh. Be able to redirect and go chase it down. Look at the speed. When you watch this film, you very rarely see him on the ground. And then that leads us to the money down, the okay. pass rush. All right, all again, right. right up front. Neil, great job again. Eyes. I love how he processes the information with his eyes. Great Arm over and watch this. Watch this burst. Woo! Big 92 in the backfield, baby. Big Neil. That's his pass rushing ability. He gets that money down. And we always know, we all know, Matthew can get it done out here on the guard. Great job. Look at the powerful force here. He wins up front with a great pass rush move. And the rip. Keep ripping, young fella. Keep ripping, young fella, because you're going to win. And a great job here finishing with the tackle for a loss. So, again, these young tackles are expected to win on first and second down so we can all play on third down and get after the passer. I understand pass rush value is very important for teams alignment, but in order to get there, you have to win on first and second down. These two young men make it happen. All right, EA, I see what you're doing over there with Butler and Farrell Jr. doing their thing out there. You know what you need to do? You already have this done already, but get your, yeah, you got to get your Raiders app. Training camp notebook, baby, throughout the 2022 season, you can get a lot, a lot of exclusive information from your Raiders app. Go ahead and download the thing right now. Please go ahead and do that. Are we on there? Yeah, of course we're on there. Yeah, you can get, you can listen to different, Press conferences and all kinds of good stuff. Exactly, exactly. All right, folks, we're going to head to a break. When we come back, who's going to be the first team playing a preseason game? The Raiders, the Hall of Fame game. We're previewing that next, baby. This segment of Raiders Training Camp Special has been brought to you by Sirius XM. Subscribe to Sirius XM's Platinum Plan and get every NFL game, plus 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert analysis. For more information, go to SiriusXM.com. Raiders Training Camp Special has been brought to you by Allegiant, 
the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights, book now, only at Allegiant.com. And by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. The Great Cliff Branch, when we come out of the huddle, the defense wants to know where he is right away because he's going to put instant pressure. Now, we would move Branch around. We would move him from the left side to the right side and in different locations. But we knew, and they knew, that if they didn't do something to stop him right away, we were going to him and we'd get the big play, and he could deliver. Cliff Branch finally getting his flowers, going to the Hall of Fame. We will have more on that coming up next week, but we have to talk about the actual Hall of Fame game. Yeah. The Raiders, the first team to play national football in the preseason, <laughs> going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars yeah. in Ohio. Yeah, it'll be uh, Doug Peterson's first game as head coach. That's right. Uh, the That's Jacksonville right. Jaguars, you get a chance to see second-year quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Okay. I'm not sure how many of those <laughs> times, you know, Max Crosby <laughs> and our guy Chandler Jones are going to be able to get after him, but it'll be a great opportunity for all our young guys Absolutely. to get Absolutely. some time on the football field and really – Get those pads active. We want to see that plastic popping. <laughs> the plastic popping? Yeah, plastic popping. That sounds like a, a rap song. Get <laughs> that plastic popping, baby. Yeah, okay. I can't wait, though, man. I'm excited for the Raiders kicking off the season early in Canton. First of all, the Raiders 4-0 in the, uh, in the Hall of Fame game, which is a very good thing. Yep. That just means they have a lot of Hall of Famers that they've been at the <laughs> That's game. Right. That's right. It's also a good thing. Yeah. But how about this? The fact that the Raiders have four preseason games. Yeah, four preseason games. But that's a good chance for us to evaluate players and there be on go. here talking about them. Exactly. And we will be talking about it next week during the Raiders training camp special number four for EA. Hit the rock, baby. Well done. I'm Brian Salmon, folks. We'll see you next week.